I would say I can't exactly tell the number because it all depends on one's need. How 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 do one spend on that? But to be honest, once you spend your money on grocery, once you spend your money on apartment, and also some miscellaneous costs, costs. Uh, after that, you will be saving some money. So probably fifty to sixty percent you can also save. That's that's what I think people can do here. So welcome everybody to another interview today with Shan, one of my favorite clients from or coaches from Lahore, Pakistan. Welcome, Shan. Nice to meet you again. Hey, hey Tamu, how are you doing? Thank I'm, you for having me. I am fantastic. Um Shan, you are from Lahore, as I said, and now you live where? No, no, no. Uh little bit correction here. I'm from Karachi. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Uh, from 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 uh from Karachi to where do you live now? Uh I'm living in Hamburg currently. Hamburg, yeah. Germany. Hamburg. From the seaside to the seaside, that so to speak. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> and how do you like Hamburg? Oh, so it's far? pretty cool. It's pretty cool. A uh, little thing that it's getting dark nowadays earlier, but apart from that, everything is cool. Everything is good. Yeah. Um, Shad, before you talk more about life in Hamburg, how did you get there? Um, maybe just shortly introduce yourself. What do you do? Okay, so uh, this uh, I basically belong from Karachi, Pakistan. There, I did my bachelor's in software engineering and then uh, had a, like more than four years of experience in Pakistan. Mainly, my main tech stack was Java, uh, Spring Boot, and also a few of the front-end technologies. Then after, I like uh, I like work in Karachi almost more than four years. That's a little intro about myself. Perfect. And then we met online. You joined our program, I think, when was it? April? Beginning of April this year. Um, yeah. End of May, you got a nice offer from Hamburg. And now you are here for a bit more than two months, right? Exactly. So I I were like uh, I remember an incident from uh, how we met. So I remember that I got a text from uh, George on LinkedIn, and uh, I I guess you basically sent that thirty minutes video uh, for for the people who are a bit unaware about how to move and all. So I also got that video, but uh, I literally skipped that video just because I thought that's a promotional video or something something like that. I I literally skipped that part. <laughs> and did not uh, like uh, uh did not uh, put some attention on that so after that i remember uh one of my friend i got to know about that uh, that he's going to move to berlin and i was like oh man okay and uh, then my another friend also he i also heard about him that he's going to move to another city of germany that is lavish <laughs> so i was like okay man I, i should go for it and literally to be honest like uh, uh without having a second thought like without applying by myself i literally <clears throat> get in contact with you guys i remember that uh, i had the first call for the 15 minutes call get to know call with uh, rahul and then uh, uh the 40 minutes call with you i remember that <laughs> and yeah that was in the april and uh, almost uh, i exactly remember that i got the verbal offer on the 31st of may so we exactly started on 1st april and uh, on 31st of may i had the offer my cool. first offer so two months that's the average time two to three months is the average time our clients needs and uh, you were a bit faster with two months uh, that's really good awesome um yeah it is a promotional video by the way the 30 minutes training video but this video alone helps you a lot i guess so you get a lot like it's really worth watching um if you want to move to germany why did you want to come here in the first place tell me uh, uh to be honest i uh already had that in my mind that i want to move somewhere abroad it's it it was not like germany but i had the thought to move to canada first because i also was doing a uh, masters for that back in pakistan but the thing is nowadays they have uh, they have made this process a little bit uh, uh can you hear me yeah yeah all good uh, okay uh, my video is freeze i'm not sure why uh so I was saying that I uh, I was already doing masters in Pakistan for for the Canadian immigration, but uh, due to this COVID situation, they have made they have like made it a uh, little difficult, and uh, I still don't see uh, they being invite like they inviting people uh, from outward for 
couple of more years. Uh, so I had this, okay, I will be like, if not Canada, then Germany. So that's how I basically started looking for Germany. I already mentioned that I had the three to four years of experience. That's what I wanted to do. I had this thought that I'll first have some experience in my home country. And uh, once I have the three to four years of experience, I'll move abroad. So that's what exactly I did. Perfect. And tell me, how do you like Germany so far? <laughs> Apart from it's, it's, it's getting it's, dark now. It's, 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 great. it's great. It's great. Because I, I remember I moved in August and uh, it was not getting uh, like after landing one people like everyone does the roam around to the city and everything. I also did the same thing. And uh, those days I remember they uh, it was not getting uh dark in the in the around four or five it was getting dark around eight ish something so it was pretty cool i uh i visited the city and also in a, in a month or so i also uh went to another country so that is another charm of uh living in european country uh so you don't need visa for the uh for the for the other countries which comes into the eu like the schengen uh visa so it, it's a pretty cool thing you can uh basically visit like almost 25 to 26 countries without having uh like only having this german uh, only having this uh visa you get so i went to prague and, okay. uh, czech republic yeah, czech it's, republic, a nice yeah. it's a nice city yeah did you take oh, the man. train from from hamburg to uh to prague this, uh, yeah uh yeah. i took the train like uh yeah. the I euro city. Went... sorry the euro city <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, uh, for, I did not directly like I did not take the direct train to Prague. Uh, first I went to Leipzig. Ah, yeah. uh, we collect, like uh, we gathered a few of the friends over there, and then uh, from there we went to uh, we went to Prague. So that okay. was on the bus from okay. to Leipzig. <laughs> I went on train, and ah, okay. <laughs> from Leipzig to Prague, I went on bus. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. And apart from traveling, like. How did you settle there? Um, where do you live right now? Um, how is that going? Okay, so uh, I would say that uh, it's it's been two and a half months. I already feel like settling apart from few things with uh, accommodation sorted and bank account sorted and few other things which you need after landing in Germany. Mm -hmm. Those are, to be honest, they th those are sorted for me. So the thing is like, uh, if we will talk about first, let me talk about the accommodation. So uh, once you get the job offer, you immediately start looking for the accommodation. So for in my case, I was looking for the permanent one, but unfortunately I couldn't. So I went for a temporary accommodation, which I can also share the number here. So I got uh, the accommodation for the first month. It was 550 for a, for a, share, uh, for a room, which was uh, in, in a sharing apartment. Mm -hmm. So uh, after landing here, at least I had this thing that, okay, I have some, I have some place to live and uh, I'll go for the permanent one once I land there and I'll start looking for some other place. So after landing here, almost in, an, in, an, in a week or in a week or so, I got the permanent one. So how did I get that? So there's a story. I uh, basically, I, I'll uh, also recommend people to post uh, your requirements on, on your community groups because this uh, also helped me. Literally out of nowhere, someone messaged me on my messenger that, uh, hey, I have an apartment and uh, I saw your post on this community group. You're looking you're looking for one or you already got the one. I said, okay, I'm looking for one. So <laughs> to be honest, in a week, I got the permanent one, a permanent apartment. Because you know that uh, after you land here in Germany, you need the Animal Dung, which is mm. uh, city registration. So I was already worrying, okay, uh, what if I, I not, if I'll not get the apartment pretty soon, I'll not be able to open the bank account and everything I was having those thoughts but out of nowhere i got this apartment and uh, <clears throat> uh literally after a week or after a week or so i got this apartment where i'm living right now and after that once once you are like uh, once you are city registered you once you get your animal done animal done uh, after that things get very very smooth like they basically uh, they will be getting smooth uh, you'll be uh, you'll be opening your bank account having that city registration and everything. And that's what I did. I went for the commerce bank here uh, after city registration. And once you uh, have the city registration, uh, after that, you get your tax ID, your, uh, what, the national? No, uh, the tax ID and the one other ID. I don't remember the, exactly the name. So you also get those two IDs and uh, yeah. 
you are already settled in here. Sozialversicherungsnummer in German. Yeah. No, it's not Sorry. important. I can't tell. <laughs> tell me how how did you uh, how did you get the flat? Was it in a WhatsApp community group or Facebook? Facebook, Facebook. Ah, Facebook. So Facebook yeah. group, and you just posted and you got it. Huh? Exactly. So that's a good. That's a really good advice. So most of the apartments, if you're coming here to Germany and you, they are giving way through social contacts, obviously. And if you don't have any social contacts because you have not been living here, make use of those groups. Huh? Let exactly. everybody know, and then. Usually, I hear that stories quite a lot. And uh, one people mess, one person messages you, and you you get something. So yeah, exactly. That's very otherwise, good. otherwise, your chances are. Uh, I would I would say that getting the permanent one, it's it's pretty much negligible because the thing is, you are you are being your own country, and the person who would be renting the apartment, he's in Germany. You would not come uh, on this on the same page because you won't be able to like you would not be ready to pay uh, upfront and he would not be able to rent your apartment without having the uh, caution money or something like that so you yeah. would not come to on the same page so that's why i, I would say that there are the like there are this vege uh, something uh, there's application on on the uh, uh, you can basically rent the apartment from there but they won't be able to yeah, like you won't find it easily over there yeah, you already mentioned the rain, the the price for your first apartment, which you rented five hundred fifty. Let's talk about cost of living in Germany. I know that's a po topic a lot of people are interested in. Also, in times of inflation, economic crisis, a lot of people approaching us and they are worried. Hey, can I make a living? Is that enough? So let's speak a little bit about about that. I know, with your experience as a software developer, you get between three and four thousand euros in your pocket every month so net salary yeah. um how is that going for you can you make a living in germany how is that going to like first of all let's first of all do you do you have the feeling there is a crisis going on what is your personal impression uh like uh, exactly if you'll talk about me i i'm seeing a little bit different not that much because uh, when i landed here the crisis were already there like i heard from, like i heard these things from my friends who are already living here so they say they uh, there has been changes in their like day-to-day uh, uh, -day grocery things probably uh, the thing which they were getting earlier for one euro now it's one and a half euro or maybe two euros or maybe their weekly grocery costed them around like uh, maybe 30 euro now it's costing them 40 euros there are the changes in the in these things and also, uh, if you talk about the apartments, apartments, uh, I would say no matter if you'll go to Berlin, you go to Hamburg, like wherever you go, apart from the uh, smaller cities, I would say uh, the cost uh, of the apartments, if you will share the single room, it would be around like from 400 or 450 to it can go longer, like 600 or 650. That, that's uh, the pretty decent amount which you'll, got, which you'll get uh, here in Berlin or maybe Hamburg or Munich. So Munich would be a little bit uh, on the upper side but mm -hmm. if you are lucky if you'll get uh on the cheaper side but that's what you can imagine for your apartment uh for a single room but uh, if you are a family of two or three probably you will be going for uh, one zimmer or 1.5 zimmer so probably for that you can uh imagine like you can start from 1000 to no limit i would say <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> but uh, if you'll cost about, like if you'll talk about the grocery and all, if you are a single person, then cross uh, grocery. I would say it. Uh, I would say I can't exactly tell the number because it all depends on one's need. How 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 do one spend on that? But to be honest, once you spend your money on grocery, once you spend your money on apartment, and also some miscellaneous costs, costs. Uh, after that, you will be you will be probably I, I can say this number that you will be probably if you are spending a uh, little less and uh, also uh, like uh, saving some money so probably 50 to 60 percent you can also save that's that's what i think people can do here so still like even in this times um with inflation and so on you can save around 50 percent uh, 50 to 60 percent of your net salary which is between right. three and four thousand euros so that's uh, very good to know and i hope that also helps people that Yes, maybe there's an inflation rate going on at the moment um, and so on, but we can still see uh, like with the salaries you are getting, you are in the top 20% of salaries in all over Germany. So yeah, if you come here, you will be exactly. happy. And I've, also, I've also seen that uh, uh, the people who are coming now, they also like even companies, they understand that uh, the, uh, the, the crisis thing also is here, is there. So they also uh, offer you the... Uh, 
the range where you uh, you basically lie for suppose if you have four years of experience or five years of experience they already offer you that particular salary it's not like they'll be giving you the shorter number yeah. they would be accommodating the number which is currently like in the market so companies also uh, understand that exactly um very good so all in all what are your plans then for the next uh, few months um with the money you can save what do you want to do with it uh like i am a explorer to be honest like uh, as i mentioned that i already went uh, like being here ju since just two months and i've already visited a country the another country like the czech republic i've also visited two other cities as i mentioned the Leipzig and also berlin and uh probably will be exploring uh some more countries <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is like uh, uh you have to you have like uh from 24 to 30 days of paid leaves here and you have to take those leaves so uh, as i've landed here in august so i have a couple of days remaining uh for those leaves i have to take those leaves and go so you have to take holidays <laughs> exactly that's a good thing like uh, uh you have to take those leave and go like even your uh, even like uh, your manager all the uh, all the team they basically uh they impose you to basically take those leaves go somewhere even they expect you to like uh, on the weekend they expect you to do some chilling stuff or maybe going uh, even i've seen uh, most of the people uh, they take leave they go some other country or maybe some other cities to chill or they spend quality quality time with their with their loved ones or their family and uh, they also expect you the same so that's the good thing i uh, liked about here Perfect. What do you, you talked about work-life balance already. What other differences could you see from from when you were working in, in Pakistan, when you were employed here? What else is different to you? Uh, uh, basically, like uh, in Pakistan, I also was working uh, for the exact time I was, but the main difference I've seen here, like uh, uh, the leaves, people also, people usually take those leaves. Like uh, it's not like that, uh, uh, like in Pakistan, I used to take leave only when I needed, but here people, they they like want to take leave to just relax or maybe to go some other country. That's what I loved about here. And also, uh, the thing is they don't spend their uh, after works on, on the work. Like uh, if you are supposed to work from nine to five, you'll be working from nine to five or no one expect you to answer after five. And even on the weekend, they don't expect you to work on weekends. So that's a good thing that also I was getting back in my previous company. So I, I don't have any complaints over there, to be honest. And uh, apart from there, uh, uh, the as I mentioned that uh, about the leaves and also, yeah, uh, the sick leave, the, the, if you are sick, like uh, there, I have seen that there are different uh, rules in the different companies, but if you are sick, you just have to text your manager or your HR that I, I am not feeling well. And for the initial two days, like in my company, if you, uh, for the initial two days, you can directly take leave. And uh, if you are sick more than those days, you can basically get this uh, document from doctor and then you can uh, take as many as leave, like uh, until you feel better. So that's also a good thing about here. Exactly. So that is maybe also worth explaining. So um, with your salary, like with your employment, you are automatic, um, automatically health insured. So your health insured, it's already been deducted from your salary. So anytime you need to go to a doctor or something happened that has been paid for exactly. by the health insurance. And this is also a big bonus, which you have. So you don't have any extra costs um, if you need exactly. to do that. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's the best part about like... Uh, I know uh, people talk about the taxes here, like in Germany, you almost pay 40 to 42 percent taxes and what would you save uh, at the end? But the thing is, like, uh, you are paying the taxes, but you are getting them in, in some way, like uh, your health insurance is covered, your uh, education for your children that is covered. Uh, if you lose your job, then also they will, they basically got your back. And also, uh, I've also seen this parental leave thing. So uh, I've heard about this thing. You yeah. can take, I guess, six months longer leave, parental leave if you want. Uh, more than 12. <laughs> exactly. So that is also covered. Your company would not find. Paid, paid parental leave. Exactly. So it would be paid for by government, not your employer. But the thing is, you are like you are safe. You can take parental leave for six months or as Tamu mentioned that also uh, more than six months. So you don't have to worry about that. So exactly. So basically the money you are spending on the taxes that is coming, coming like back to you in some way. Okay. So next step is um, building, a, growing a family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah but uh no plans yet but we'll think about that <laughs> no just kidding um i think we talked uh, we talked a lot and uh, we learned a lot i learned a lot from you as well and i i'm happy that you actually enjoying germany and everything is going good um so yeah thanks for that guljan it was a pleasure meeting you as or is there anything we forgot you want to anything else you want to you want to share I don't think so, but uh, uh, the those who are gonna like uh, come to find a job in Germany, I would recommend to uh, work on your skills and uh, also once you are basically uh, like giving the interviews, once your inter interview round gets started, I would also recommend because I know that uh, the uh, uh, the find a find a job in Germany is gonna help you to apply for your dream job, but also I'll recommend that also helps most of the people I've seen. So you don't only rely uh, for applying jobs to find a job in Germany. You can also apply as uh, always. You guys mentioned that uh, also that uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I guess I guess I remember you also mentioned to me that uh, we will be applying for you. But also, if you apply for yourself, that uh, will increase your chances of getting hired earlier. So that's what I'll recommend to people. That also, uh, once you start with the procedure, apply by yourself as well. Of course, always scale the number of applications that that can help you. Exactly. That's that's a good tip. Thanks, John. Um, yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you. And yeah, for our viewers on YouTube, if you are a software developer, data scientist, um, machine learning engineer, DevOps engineer, yeah, if you're working in tech and IT and you also want to move to Germany, please, uh, <laughs> please. First of all, watch our 30 minutes training video, yeah, the promotion video. No, it's actually very helpful to understand how we work, what we do. Then you book a get to know call with us, a short WhatsApp, 10 minute WhatsApp call to see if we can help you first of all. And if that is the case, we take this to the next step, which is a 45 minutes video call where we talk about the details. And if it's a match, we start working with each other. And then two or three months later, you will be in Germany and maybe we do one of those videos with you as well, if you want, of course. Thanks a lot. Have a great evening. Bye-bye and auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Right. Ciao, ciao.